YouTubers, it's your girl Shannon from Tesla and Chill, and somebody better call the popo because there has been a murder. Okay, I'm just kidding. I didn't murk anyone, um, but our car has been blacked out. It has been Chrome deleted. I'm so excited to show you. Okay, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek real quick. Just real quick, real quick. Here we go, ready? Oh, okay, there it is. <laughs> that was your sneak peek. I know, I'm super excited to show you everything that we did to it. It took about a week to do this. Um, and if you hear those sounds outside, our neighbors are getting a new deck. I think they're basically like working the whole way down the street. That's better. It's a whole lot quieter in here. Now, I want to show you everything that I did, even if I made some faux pas. I want to share with you some of my tips and tricks that I've learned while I've done this. So if you really want to, you could just fast forward to the end to learn the tips and tricks. Um, but please don't do that because I need your watch minutes. Um, every time you watch one of my videos, all of your minutes are added up to YouTube and every minute counts as me growing my channel and that's why every subscription is also really important so let me segue this real quick into asking if you are new to the channel or if you just haven't subscribed yet or if you just want to do a good deed for the day go ahead do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to of course drop us a comment um, because again every minute you watch and every new subscriber I get helps to grow my channel so I can make more videos for you <laughs> Okay, so um, yeah, stick to the end because I'll have tips and tricks there for you because I definitely learned a whole lot along the way while I did this. Um, I thought I had a little bit of vinyl experience, which we'll talk about in a minute, um, but this definitely was probably one of the biggest wrapping undertakings that I've done. It's my biggest wrap job. I'm a rapper now. What up? <laughs> um, so yeah, so we'll talk about that. Um, but first, why did we even decide to do this? Like you heard me say when I was in the garage. Um, yeah, wrapping cars, like obviously it's not a new thing, but chrome deleting, I think that's becoming hotter and hotter, especially with Teslas, because like we said, the Y is being chrome deleted now, it's just straight from the factory. And we talked about doing it when we first got the car, but to be honest, I really like the way the chrome looked. It kind of broke up the black, I thought. Um, I thought too much black just wouldn't give any like definition to the car. Um, and maybe I was thinking like of just glossy black kind of blending in with the car, but we actually chose a satin black for the car and I'm so glad we did. Um, again, I'm going to show you everything in just a little bit here, but first I got to tell you about it. Um, yeah, so we chose satin black for the car and I think it stands out. The car looks legit. Um, I think it looks amazing. I'm super excited about how it turned out. So when we looked into how much it would be to wrap our car, our minds were blown, like mind blown emoji. <laughs> Um, so I think if you were just to get a wrap kit and we got ours again from test bros, again, we're not like affiliated with them in any way. They didn't sponsor this. We just bought it. Um, this was like 140 bucks and that was like a really good deal because other wrap kits can be like 250, even higher. Some can be less than that. It just depends. And if you wanted to get your car like professionally wrapped, um, like hire someone to do that. I saw prices ranging between like 850 to 1200 dollars which is like insane. Like, do you know what I could buy for $1,200? <laughs> um, so we went with Test Bros. We spent about 140 bucks and they send you sets of two. So everything you get for your car, you get two sets in case you mess up. And if you don't mess up, you'll have a whole nother set to do another Tesla if you have one. <laughs> so every day I worked on it, um, we usually would eat dinner and then we'd put our son to bed. He's two years old. And as much as I love him, he can kind of get in the way when you're trying to wrap a car. Um, so we'd put him to bed and then we would work on the car. We probably worked on like the smaller pieces of the car, maybe for like an hour, hour and a half ish. We really just kind of took our time doing this. Um, my husband and I did it together and by did it together, I mean, he just kind of watched me do it. Uh, but we had good conversation during that time. I think the longest time it took was to do the side mirrors. Those were super complicated and I was really nervous to do those but it wasn't as intimidating as I thought it would be. Um, but that probably took three hours in total, I'm thinking, three, three and a half hours. So it definitely took a good chunk of time. So if you wanna like save time, just hire someone to do it. <laughs> so in total, I think the car maybe took like six to eight hours-ish roughly, um, just to chrome delete the whole thing. And again, I was going slow. I was like learning new curves, learning new angles and stuff. Now, I did have a little bit of vinyl experience like I mentioned before. Um, back when we had our Ford F-150 Platinum, we did start like chrome deleting some things back then. I don't think I have a picture of it. If I do, I'll insert it here. If I don't, we'll keep going. <laughs> okay, so we did do a little bit of chrome deleting on the truck back when we had it, and then we sold the truck and we got this Model 3. 
And then we figured, well, we better start doing, you know, like at least some PPF, some paint protection film. So we did a little bit of that on the headlights and then that was just clear. And then later we took that off and we did the smoked headlights. And then we also did a few things inside the car as well. You may remember this from a while ago and I should probably clean things up, but uh, I'm just gonna show you right now. So you can see here, we did the steering wheel and you might remember when we did that. But um, we did this final piece, we stuck this on here. We did a little bit on the console if you remember that. So we did have a little bit of vinyl experience, which definitely came in to like help here. Um, that was a big factor. If I just started Chrome deleting with no like vinyl experience, um, I don't think that would have gone really, really well. But you kind of learn as you go a little bit, am I right? So let's get to it. Let me show you my Chrome deleting process that I did. Um, we started with really simple things. We just started with the door handle because, I mean, it's pretty flat. <laughs> it's hard to mess that up. And if you remember a while back in one of my videos, I did try to do like a Chrome delete on the handles. But the product we used, there was just a lot of extra vinyl. Um, and it ended up kind of like bulking the handles up. Um, so there was so much extra vinyl that when we folded it over the handle, the handle wouldn't even fully close on the door. So we ended up just taking that off. Um, Test Bros, shout out to them because their vinyl is like perfectly cut for all the pieces. Um, any extra vinyl is like the perfect amount just to fold over and really basically delete any chrome edges that you might see. So it's really cut nicely. It's a really good product. Again, not affiliated with them in any way. We just really like it. Um, and we chose to go with Test Bros probably because the price point was really good. Um, but also we've had friends that have used their products and they seemed really happy. Um, it seems like a really quality product. And now that we have it on our car, we're gonna keep it for a long time. <laughs> uh, so that's basically why we went with them. Okay, so getting to the Chrome Delete, we did start with the handles because it seemed like the easiest place to start. I mean, basically they're pretty flat when you put like the vinyl on. It seemed like a good place to start our learning curve. And then we worked our way up to like the window trim. Um, then we did the side cameras because there's there are a few angles in that. Even though it's really small, there are a few curvatures that I was a little nervous about. And then we ended with the side mirrors, which was the hardest thing to do, um, not only because of all the angles and curves, but because there were so many pieces. Um, but again, Tess Bros knows what they're doing, so they included all the right pieces that fit perfectly. Uh, for the most part, they fit perfectly. <laughs> um, and I'll touch on that at the end of this video. Okay, but let's jump to it. Let me start by showing you um, the door handles, and then we'll just work our way throughout the rest of the car. Oh, quick note before we start. So since we did this at night, there wasn't a lot of sunlight available because the sun went down. So a lot of this is done using my garage light. Now I know that's not the best lighting to use. So I tried to just show you like a better shot in the daylight the next day. So sorry about the poor lighting, um, but stick with me here and I'll show you some shots in the daylight at the very end. You just saw me finishing up the handles and I wanted to show you how it looked, but it was nighttime and the garage lights just didn't do it justice. So it's the next day right now. So I want to show you how good it looks and you can see my little helper there. He is so cute. So today we are going to be working on doing this work right here. Uh, we're going to do that part of the Chrome delete, but take a look at the handles. They look really, really good. I'm super excited about this. The car already looks so different. Um, so it's going to look like drastically different once we do everything else. Okay, so let's get started on the window parts. All right, we're about to get started on doing the little window areas here. And this is how the strips come. You can see the DF for driver's front. Um, and other than that, you kind of have to figure it out um, which piece goes where. So we kind of measured out each section in this shorter section here. That's going to go on the driver front side, the driver side here. And then the longer section, that's gonna go for the back door. Um, and I just kind of had to like measure it out and figure it out. Um, now I'm thinking that this piece here, you can see it's angled. If you compare it with the other end, uh, that has a little bit more of like a blunt edge. I think this side is gonna go where the mirror is. And this blunt edge I'm thinking is gonna curve over. You can see where some of the chrome comes over the edge of the door. So I think that part's just gonna curve over. So we're gonna go ahead and get started and hope for the best.
Okay, you guys, I'm loving how this looks. Look at that. It pulls the door handle in beautifully. Um, I think this looks super good. Come in for a quick close-up. I tried to make it like as wrinkle-free as possible, but the heat gun really took out a lot of the extra little bubbles and creases that were there. Um, I'm super happy with this. I can't wait to continue to finish with this side, but it is dinner time for J3, and then my little assistant is gonna go to bed. And also, it's taco night, in case you're wondering. <laughs> so once he's in bed, we're gonna come back out. We're gonna finish with this side and the other side. Um, and then I'll show you guys that. So just like before, I wanted to show you the final product in the daylight where the lighting is a little bit better. Okay, so take a look here, see how the windows look. And we just did the bottom part, but I think it looks really good. It totally ties in the door handles. There's my little helper. Hi, J3. Hey. But I think that looks really good for now. I'm pretty impressed with myself. There aren't too many bubbles or creases or anything like that. Get you a close up. All right, and we are gonna do the top part right now. So let's get going. Okay, so we're gonna get started with this back end here with this little V. And of course, what we wanna do first is have an anchor point. So I'm gonna start, I think it would be easier to like anchor it here. Cause I think this little corner right here is probably gonna be harder if I started from here and worked my way down. So I'm gonna start it here. And I think there are definitely some videos on test rows, but we were just too excited and we just wanted to get started. So we're gonna do it this way and hope for the best. it'll be really manageable um, but there are a lot of curves and angles to this so I'm a little bit nervous um, but we've already done like what 50 60 percent of the car so we can't quit now so let's go ahead and we'll stick this baby on So I'm in my guest room slash office right now and I was trying to edit the video to upload to YouTube so you all could see it and the video ended up being like over 20 minutes long. So YouTube wouldn't let me upload it. I tried like over and over and over <laughs> um, but it said there was like a 15 minute minimum and I know there's a way around it because there are like way longer videos on YouTube um, but I just could not figure it out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split it into two parts. So this is part one. Um, next time I'll of course release part two. So I'm really sorry I couldn't upload everything at once. Um, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> um, but I hope you enjoyed part one. Please stick around for part two because that's when you'll be able to see everything um, to completion. It's gonna be fully finalized and it's really worth it because the car looks super awesome. So that's all I've got for this video part one. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you next time.